Are you learning English? Good, you're in the right place. Want to learn how to speak about groceries and food shopping in general? Then join me in this week's video and I'll take you through some of my grocery shopping for this week. Let's go. Hello people, it's Gino here again from Real Everyday English and I'm back with another weekly English learning video to help you people improve your vocabulary and take another little step towards complete fluency, which of course is all of our goals. So I've just got back from doing my food shopping, as we would say in the UK. We don't tend to use the phrase grocery shopping, that is more of an American phrase, but still nonetheless you might hear some people say it here as well. But in general we say food shopping or just shopping. Um, so the first thing I've bought, oh, before I start, I'm currently in the process of changing my diet. So I genuinely eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, but I also eat a lot of meat. I'm trying to change that. So I'm, I'm starting to eat more plant-based foods and try and eat less and less meat. I'm not sure if I'm going to go vegan. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that I think I eat too much meat and I think I could benefit from reducing the amount of meat that I am eating. So, having said that, the first thing I've picked up today was some peanut butter. So, this is peanut butter. It's basically just mashed up peanuts with a little bit of oil. And um, that's really good. I'm going to be throwing that into my smoothies. And the container which this is in, this is called a jar. So, this is a jar of peanut butter. Next, we have some different kinds of beans. This container is a tin. So this is a tin of mixed beans, so that means all different kinds of beans. Because I'm reducing the amount of meat that I'm eating, I'm having to find my protein from other sources because, as you know, I do a lot of training. So I have some mixed beans, I have some kidney beans, and I have some chickpeas, which are all great sources of protein, all different kinds of beans or legumes, whichever word you want to say. Okay, something else I've got here is some olive oil and this is garlic infused. You can see a picture of garlic on the front and there's lots of garlic in the bottom and if I shake the bottle, you can see the garlic floating around inside. I have some pears. Now pears are a kind of fruit. I should imagine most of you already know this word but if not, that is a pear and I like my pears when they're really ripe and really soft and they're really sweet and nice to eat. Bananas. So if I take the bananas out of the packet, you can see that these bananas are nice and yellow, which means they're quite ripe and nice and soft and sweet, which is how I like them. We've got some tangerines. Now, you might be looking at these and thinking, well, hang on a minute, they're oranges. But tangerines are much smaller than an orange. I have some oranges as well, by the way. So these are oranges. These are tangerines. Can you see how the tangerines are much smaller? Next, I have some onions. So this is an onion. Um, I'm assuming you already know that word as well. We have some broccoli. And one thing I like to do, by the way, with all this fruit and veg, is I like to um, put it all into a blender. So this is a blender. And you can see in the bottom there are some blades some blades that spin round. So what I do is in the morning, I put lots of fruit and vegetables into the blender, a little bit of water, and then what I do is I switch it on and it blends it all up into a nice smoothie. I also put some porridge in there, or as the Americans say, oatmeal. Okay, what else do I have? I have, ah, this is something else that, because I'm making the switch to eating less animal products, um, I have some almond milk which is um, an alternative to standard dairy milk or cow's milk, which we usually drink. If you don't know what an almond is, an almond is a kind of nut. I have some almonds here. So if I open the packet and take one out, that is an almond. Very nice. Next, I have some carrots. Now, carrots are probably one of my favourite vegetables. I take a carrot to work every day. I peel it, so I take the skin off, which means to peel, and then I eat it raw. 
Raw means uncooked, so I eat it as it is. Very nice. Probably one of my favourite vegetables. I have some apple juice. And the apple juice is inside a curtain. So this particular container that the apple juice in is called a curtain. I have some green beans. These are called green beans. The long, thin, green things. Very good, very healthy. What else do I have? I have some strawberries. And the strawberries are in a, a tub. I would call that a tub. If someone wants to correct me, then you can happily do that. So I have some strawberries. They're another thing that go into my morning smoothies. I have some kale. And kale is a leafy um, green vegetable. Really, really good for you. And another similar thing that I have here is spinach. That's another green leafy vegetable. Very healthy. There are two more things that actually go into my fruit smoothies in the morning. I have some avocados. Let me take one out of the packet because I think you need to see this to be able to recognise it. So this is an avocado. And inside there, it's a lovely green, creamy kind of vegetable flesh. And there's a stone in the middle. But I like to cut these open and put it into my smoothie in the morning. And it makes the smoothie really, really creamy and really nice to, to drink. I have some asparagus. I don't know if you can see that. So this is asparagus. Again, very nice vegetable. But I must admit... Um, and I want to ask you a question. Asparagus, whenever I eat asparagus, um, it makes my urine smell when I go to the toilet. And this is um, quite a common thing. I think it affects a lot of people. Does asparagus do this to you? Let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to uh, discuss that topic with you. Blueberries. So they're blueberries. Again, very nice, very nice uh, fruit, um, really high in antioxidants and they are another thing that I throw into my morning smoothies. I have some pasta and this particular shape of pasta is called fusilli, fusilli. So that is fusilli pasta and also this is whole wheat pasta. So you can see how it's brown. Whereas normally pasta looks more white, this is brown pasta, as some people call it, or the technical term is whole wheat pasta. Okay, next on the list, I have some peppers. These are peppers. And we identify peppers by the colour. So this one is a red pepper. That one is a yellow pepper. You can get green peppers, orange peppers, lots of different colours. Next up, we have some tomatoes. But these particular tomatoes are cherry tomatoes, which means they're quite small in comparison to normal tomatoes, which are very big. Lemons. I have some lemons. <clears throat> now, lemons are very um, tangy. We would describe it as tangy. So when you bite into it, very tangy. And the packet that they come in, well, it's not a packet really. This is like a, it's a net. Can you see how it's got holes in it? It's pieces of string with holes. We describe that as a net. It's like what a fisherman uses to catch fish. It's like a net. Um, I have some grapes. These are green grapes. Again, I love to eat grapes. Very, very healthy and very good. Here I have some noodles. Medium egg noodles, you can see on the packet. <clears throat> and we put these in stir fries and stuff. Whenever I hear about noodles, I instantly think of Chinese food. I don't know if any of you people think the same. Another thing I have is some deodorant. So deodorant is for spraying under your arms, usually before you go to work or just in general during the day. And it stops you from uh, smelling when you sweat. Washing up liquid, which we use to do the washing up, obviously. So that is some washing up liquid. That is what we call that. I also have some celery. This is British celery. Do you have celery in your country? Let me know. I really, really like this in my smoothies in the morning again. Although I have to admit that if you eat this on its own, 
the flavour is quite um, it's quite bitter. It's not it's not a sweet vegetable at all. So I prefer to mix it with other things in order to eat it. And last but not least, I have some squash. We call this squash or dilute pop or cordial. This is British English, I think. So we can either call this cordial, dilute pop or squash. And this is apple and blackcurrant. And the word dilute means to add water to something to make it less strong or less potent. So for example, so if I unscrew the top, pour the cordial or the dilute pop into the bottom of the jug. I then need to run the tap. So the tap is now running. I'm now going to dilute the juice with water. The juice is now diluted and it's okay to drink. Okay people, thank you very much for joining me in this video when I describe some of my grocery shopping to you. Um, I hope you learned some new vocabulary. If you find the video useful, then please feel free to share this with your English learning friends and share it far and wide because the more people I help, the happier I am. I'll see you people in the next video. Tomorrow, I'm actually running a 10k race and I'm hoping to get a really good time. So I'll, I'll update you in the next video as to how I get on tomorrow. Um, thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you don't want to miss a future lesson, then please subscribe and I'll see you beautiful people in the next video. Bye-bye. Have a great weekend.